Ковбой. Когда я был маленьким, я не любил никакой спорт, я бы хотел быть ковбоем. Again, tomorrow night, the fight kicks off at the Ice Palace. The show is sold out. Doors are at 5.30. First fight kicks off at 6 p.m. 13 big action that fights, along with three super fights. Number one rule I have, though, but what we say goes. If you don't like it or we have a problem, we'll take a point away. Or we'll disqualify you and it'll be done. I don't care if it's pay-per-view, main event, or what it is. That's the way it's going to be. Obvious no-nos. No unsportsmanlike conduct. No headbutting, no biting, no hair pulling, no groin shots. Do not grab the ropes or the opponent's glove. No grabbing the rope, okay? This, we'll consider grabbing the rope. Cannot rest your arms on top through here, okay? competitive architecture in place, uh, you've got to go the other route, and that's the political route. You've, you've got to do the things right just to be given those opportunities. Whereas in wrestling, where Matt grew up and was trained, uh, you didn't have to do that. People didn't have to like you. If you win this tournament, you will go to the Olympics. If you win the Olympics, you are the Olympic champion. That simple. It, it doesn't work that way in MMA. During the ring at this time, the one and only Fedor I'm sure she probably gets a little nervous when, you know, she hears all the talk about how good this guy is and you know, how he's unbeatable and he's gonna break me in a million pieces and all that. But I, I got plans to, you know, break him in some pieces. This is a heavyweight battle. Our main Let's event of the night, way. Fedor Emelianenko, decked out Quick, in his uh, black trunks. They're the short ones. Matt Linlin, Judge, also in black, Judge, with a little gold trim Judge, on his, ready? a little Fire, bit longer. We're set to go. This should Fire. be something. Watch how fast Emelianenko will try to start. History is being made in the Bodog fight ring tonight, and Matt Linlin is showing no hesitation in making it. Charging forward and looking for that Greco clinch right away. He's already opened up a huge but on the inside, he wants to keep him close. He doesn't want to take the power. Going for leg sweeps of both guys. Picks him up. He wants to drive him down. And he does. Fedor reverses the Olympic medalist in Greco with a beautiful throw of his own. And I'll tell you something right now. Fedor has got to try to finish this fight because that cut could very well be a fight stopper. Matt wants to be down here. Great work. Matt, I know you're you're down. Obviously, I'd ask you, you know, how you feel, what you thought about the fight. Usually, you're on the winning end of the stick. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, well, you know, I obviously he's a great fighter, and it was an honor to be in here and fight him. Uh, you know, the thing is, I didn't have a rope to, to help aid me out of getting out of that arm bar like he did the takedown, and uh, I'd love to get in here and fight him again. Right, so you, you, I saw you were going for, you know, obviously Greco-Roman is your strong suit. Went for a big throw. He, he latched onto the ropes a couple of times. Did that change the pace of the fight? Well, definitely stopped the takedown and pulled him on top of me and, instead of vice versa. So, yes. All right, is your arm okay? I noticed you immediately grabbed your arm at the elbow. Well, it, it cracked and snapped and popped, and we'll see. I, I don't know. I've never had that happen, so we'll f we'll see how it feels. Are right, you coming back to Bodog? Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm coming back to Bodog. I'm going to beat somebody up because I'm a little embarrassed. All right, Matt, thank you very much. Back to you, Colonel.
<laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, fuck, I came all the way over to Russia. Fucking got caught in an arm bar. Um, I don't know. I just... And it's hard to think right now because I'm, I'm just disappointed in the way the fight went. That's all. Um, felt like, <laughs> you know, felt good in there. Uh, felt like I could compete with him. Um, no, no problem. It's, uh, I don't know, just disappointing. Yeah. I was hoping it would, uh, would go a little different. I'm certainly uh, looking that way. And, you know, he did a fantastic job. He's, he's good. So, I mean, there's no, uh, nothing to be ashamed of. It's just uh, disappointing, that's all. Yeah.